Welcome everyone, here's how you use the S Pen Pro Edition on your Samsung device. Uh, while watching this video, I'm kind of expecting you've already connected and set everything up. If you have not set up your S Pen Pro Edition with your Samsung, the tutorial for that is in the description. So to get started, bring the S Pen Pro Edition near to the screen so you see this little white circle, or do a swipe. From here, you should see this pen icon, and when you tap into it, you will see all these options you can play around with. I'll break down each option. However, first of all, we need to talk about the Pro Editions Air Actions. So let's tap into settings here. You're then gonna see Air Actions. So Air Actions is the one feature with your S Pen Pro Edition which requires battery. So if you have not charged your S Pen Pro Edition, you don't see anything available here. Just open up the top part, okay? This top lid comes out. You see this USB-C? port just plug in the same charger you use for your Samsung charge up the S Pen and then these air actions will work so first of all let's make sure air actions are on you're gonna see here hold down pen button 2 so the pen button is referring to this button here which is extruding this second button here is the pairing button uh, I cover this uh, on how to connect the S Pen uh, Pro Edition so that you can use the air actions again that tutorial is in the description if you tap on hold down pen button two, you can actually change what action you use. So by default, let's long press the pen icon. You can see the camera app opens, but maybe you want to change that. So we'll go back into the settings. We'll find air actions, and we can change this to a level we would like. So let's say you want these S Pen features here, which I will cover later. Just tap on it to change. Okay, so now when I hold down the pen button, it's going to open up the notes app, any pop up you like so. However, you can also change this to opening up an app, okay? You can see all the apps available. And you also have the option for home, back, and then the multitasking, okay? If you want to set back the camera, just tap on camera, and that will reset. Now we have all of these air actions here. So no air actions, which are shown here, are actually available, okay? So let's open up the camera app again by doing a long press. So you saw those air actions, well, some of them weren't listed. So first of all, if you would like to take a picture or in some apps, pause and play, just click and release the pen button. Okay, you can see it's gonna take a picture. If I double click, let's double click, you can see it will flip the camera around, okay? Double click to flip again. If you slide, your finger, okay, while holding down the pen button to the left, it will change the mode, okay, boom, you can see it pushes to the left and that will bring you there, and if it goes to the right, it will do vice versa. The air actions aren't 100%, you saw there it took a picture when I did an air action, okay. Uh, if you do a slide up, you can also flip the camera. Uh, I don't believe you can flip the portrait camera, let's try the photo, boom. And you can also slide down to flip the camera as well. Let's say I open up an app, let's say the camera app here, and I want to go home. You're going to do this upside down V shape, okay, with while holding down the pen icon. So we're holding down the pen icon, up, down, boom, and that will bring you home, okay. If you would like to go back, let's say I open up settings, and I go into the sub menu here, this menu, then you're going to do this less than sign so slide like so and you can see it will bring you back to the previous menu if you're wondering the back you know air action is the same as the back button right here if you want to access the multitasking you do a greater than sign in the air so while holding down the pen button hold it down and you can see i didn't do it accurately so air actions aren't the best but you can see it'll bring up the multitasking like so if you want to use a feature called Smart Select, this feature is like a screenshot, but you're taking partially a part of the screen. You're gonna do a V or K while holding down the pen. And you can see Smart Select will show up. And this is where you can select the part of the screen you wanna take a screenshot for. And if you want to outline, remove like edges, let's say background from a person, you can do that here. Annotate, add text, share the social media or messages and then you have the save button like so. And if you would like to do a screen write, which is a screenshot, but you can of course annotate, 
just shake the pen like so and you can see it will take a screenshot and now you can write you can crop as well you need to use a finger for that one and then you also have the save button share etc all right that's the air actions out of the way i'm using my z fold 3 here but i would like to switch to my z fold 4 so you can see this pen icon we've been tapping on it but did you know there is an alternative way to access this menu yes that's right Bring the S Pen Pro Edition close enough to the screen. So you see this little, see that little dot here? And once it's close enough, if you just double click the pen button, so click, click, you can see it'll bring up this menu like so. Another little tip as well is if you hold down the pen button and then double tap on the screen, it will open up the notes app, right? Like so. And then from there, you can annotate your notes. All right. Let's tap on the pen icon and let's go through what all of these options do. So first of all, if you open up settings and then you scroll down until you see shortcuts, you can actually change all the shortcuts in the sidebar. You can see all of these S Pen features here. Okay, so I'm gonna cover all of these features. So by the end, you know what everything does. And if you want to change what is in the sidebar here, you just tap on the minus to remove tap on the option to add. You can also add opening up apps uh, in this menu here as well, and the shortcut menu if you would like to. But let's cover the S Pen specific features. So let's tap on the S Pen icon. We have the Create Note. So what this will do is it will bring out the Notes app in the pop-up view, where you can do a quick annotation. If you remember earlier, holding down the S Pen button, double tapping on the screen, does the exact same thing. You'll see this blue bar where you can do a bunch of options. I'm not going to assume you've watched all my videos. I do have an in-depth tutorial on split screening. However, uh, if you hover over these little icons here, you can actually see what they do, okay? So this X will close out of the app. This will do full screen. This will minimize the app. And when you minimize, you can see the app icon will show here. Regardless if you open up an app, okay? This app will still stay minimized. If you tap on it again, it'll be full screen. You also have the option to change the opacity, bring the app into split screen with that button. And if you would like to change the blue bar into a buttons, uh, let's just tap into it to show. You can see you will now have buttons here, okay? If you tap on the triple dot, you have all these other options. So let's tap on the pen again. You have the smart select tool. So of course I covered this earlier with the, uh, the air actions, but let's say you skip to this part of the video, uh, you just select the area you want to take a screenshot. You have the option to remove the background with this, uh, this little option here. You have the option to annotate, share, and save as well. Then we have here these, uh, the screen right. So this will take a screenshot and then it will allow you to quickly annotate, okay, with your S Pen, like so. You have the eraser, undo, redo and if you tap on if you tap on the pen you can actually customize the options here and um, yeah so here we go a little tip is if you hold down the pen button it will actually switch the pen to an eraser okay you see that pen holding down the button eraser let's go back into this menu here so we have the live messages feature so when this one is on, what it's going to do is we can, let's see, take a picture or video. And once you do this, it will allow you to do annotations like so. Okay. Now here is the deal. If you have a video, you can annotate like each frame of the video or each part. So you can have an annotated video, right? If you're happy with what you've done, tap on done, or you can bring it to the bin. Then we have here the Bixby Vision. So what Bixby Vision will do is it would be best if I actually open up a browser to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna open up the internet like so. And let's say you see a picture, right? Let's activate the Bixby Vision again. You hover over the picture and you can see it will select it. So from here, of course it's going to disappear when I need it. So hover over. From here you can browse for, so from here you have the shopping option. 
So when you tap into this one, it will allow you to shop for the image you see. If you see a phone, you shop for the phone, etc. You can do an image search. So let's say you want to know what on earth is this monument? Tap on the image search and it'll image search. The text here will take all of the text you see on screen and it will uh, show it here. Okay. But it will also allow you to translate the text. So maybe the text is in a foreign language. You place it into here. It will bring you to the translate app where you can translate the text. Now let's tap on the pen icon again. And we have the magnify tool. So what you do is you hover your S Pen over where you would like to magnify and it can actually magnify here. You see this 200% tap on it to change the magnification percentage points. Okay. If we tap on the full screen. This will also increase the size of the magnifier. Okay. From here we have the translate. So what this does is you find text and you hover over with your S Pen. And you can see it will actually translate the text here. So it's translating from English to, what was that, Africa, I guess. I really don't know. If we tap on it, we can change. Let's do Arabic. So let's say I look at critical ops here. I want to translate. You can see that's what critical is in Arabic. If you tap on the T, it will now translate an entire paragraph. So let's go like this. You can see before it translated only critical. Now it will translate critical ops. Let's do this sentence here. You can see it will translate the whole sentence into Arabic. I'm just going to close out with that one. Okay, we now have the glance tool. So we need to open up an app for this one. And what it will allow you to do is allow you to glance at the app with a hover. So when you go into glance mode, you can see the app is now hidden at the bottom right. Okay, you can't tap on it, but what you can do instead is hover over and you can glance at the app, right? Boom. Now you will need to close the app out of multitasking in order to remove the glance. So it's a bit inconvenient uh, that. Now you see view all notes. This will just open up the notes app, show you all the notes which are available. Okay. You then have the pen up. So what this is, is it's, it's an app, right? And this app allows you to, let me show you. So I'll tap on this. You can see all of these outlines Tap on the outline you want, start coloring, and now from here, you can color on these outlines, make beautiful work of art. Unfortunately, my art skills are a little bit slacking. Uh, I could have taken it for the exams. Well, if I did, I would have got failed. But anyway, let's go back into settings here, and I'm going to add these three shortcuts here so I can cover everything. So AR Doodle, Coloring, and the will write on calendar. So AR Doodle, uh, what it allows you to do, so first of all, let's set up the AR. We'll try to, come on. Okay, let's start a video. So what it allows you to do, is it allows you to doodle. When with AR, you can see the doodle is staying in that certain location. Maybe I want to doodle on that phone case. So you can see it uses AR, so you can do your doodling. You also have the undo option, redo. You can change the type of pen. Let's stop the recording. Let's take a look. And when I add the AR, it is being added to the video as well. We now have coloring. What's weird is it brings you to the exact same application as the pen up did. Okay, so you can just go here, start coloring. Like it literally brings you to the, to the same pen up app, which I don't know if that's an oversight. You can do a little artwork here. And you have right on calendar, which is quite literally writing on the calendar, right? And you tap on save and we open up the calendar app. Let's open up the calendar app now. Boom. You can see the annotations, right? If you ever want to remove the annotations, just tap on right on calendar again and then remove the annotations. Now there is more, don't worry. Let's open up the settings app. So I've already covered air actions, screen off memo. So this feature is not useful if you have a Z Fold device. However, it is useful if you have another device. So what it allows you to do is when the screen is off, if you hold the pen button here, okay, and then double tap on the screen, it will allow you to take notes even though the screen is locked, okay? Which is pretty cool. The main issue is because you can't use the S Pen on the outside screen 
and the way you lock your Z Fold 4 is usually by closing the phone. Uh, this isn't the best for that, okay? When you open up the screen, right, it's going to bring you to the lock screen. Okay, let me show you. You can see, so not very useful on the Z Fold series. However, uh, the Ultra series, the tablets, okay, you don't need to worry about that. Then we have quick create notes. I've already covered this, okay, but just a quick refresher. You hold the pen button near the screen and then double tap to quickly create notes. I can actually close out of that. <laughs> Going back into settings, you have S Pen text. This by default is off, but when you turn it on and you go to a search bar, you can actually use your handwriting as text. So it's not the greatest, right? But if you want to use that, more useful on like a tablet maybe, I don't know, then you can use that if you would like to. Let's go back into the S Pen settings here. The Air View. So the Air View, okay, I turn it off. You can see this is not the Air View, right? What the Air View actually is, is let's say I open up the Gallery app and I just hover over something. You can see a preview, right? This will happen with images, text, and a bunch of other stuff. When you turn off the air view, that will not show up, okay? I'm hovering over, the air view will not work. I personally recommend you keep that one on. Show pointer when hovering. This is the pointer. See that little dot? If you turn it off, there'll be no pointer showing up. You now have the menu style. So by default, if I tap on the menu, you can see you see everything what it does however if you already know what all these features do you can select compact and now you just have a more compact version okay obviously i know what this stuff does if you don't know you may want to use standard until you memorize so you aren't confusing yourself you then have the shortcuts here so by default if you never configured this menu you have the option to add shortcuts directly however if you add or use all 10 slots then you won't have the option that's why you tap into shortcuts maybe you want the quick add to go back you can see we now have the add option and it brings us to that same shortcut menu show air command icon so that is the little you know circle one thing again to keep in mind is you can just double click okay in order to activate this menu so if you prefer the double click over tapping on the icon you can have that one off. Open air command with pen button, that is the double click that I just mentioned. You would then have sounds. So when you're writing on the screen, it gives this little scribble sound. If you want that on, you can have it on, otherwise you can turn it off. And there we go. That's how you use your S Pen Pro Edition. I've covered everything. If you enjoy my dedication, one take, because I know what I'm talking about, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.